Welcome. Let's start to congregate. We'll get our meeting underway. Welcome, everyone. Let me just get the back lights down here. Welcome to all of you in the audience. Uh, welcome to everyone at home. Um, this is our annual awards night, uh, a very exciting night. Um, in Cleveland, first let me start off by saying we had a frost warning the other day. It's 80 degrees today. The temperature is up and down. I have the air on. If you find that it gets too cool, let me know. Those of you watching from home, there's nothing I could do for you. Um, so basically, is that's it. So this is our, our awards night, and this goes way back. And I mentioned Charles Pomeroy. Charles Pomeroy was somewhere in this area up here speaking um, to the Cleveland Photographic Society uh, in 1887. He was our first president. Basically, their big concerns were after the Civil War. Um, also, that big camera in the back, that view camera, that's what they all had around their neck, lugging that around, too. And this is our 136th um, meeting like this. So this club goes way, way back. Um, first of all, tonight, and in our tradition, too, are there any new members or visitors, people here for the first time? I, I know you were here for the first time. You want to just, what's your... Just tell us, tell us your name. I know you. Can, oh. You are Melinda. Hi. Hi, Melinda. First time here, and your first time here. New member. Um, anyone else? New member. Okay. Um, this is a favorite night for me, because this is basically where everything turns outward, and we start to honor the members out there, members of the club those of you who excelled in the competitions and just in service to the club. And this is important. I tell everyone um, who complains about the club and what not to, this is an all-volunteer organization. There are no paid positions in this. So as a result, with the amount of things we do and what not, this is all by volunteers, and it is all appreciated as well. Um, not just the... Uh, honorees we're uh, honoring tonight, but basically um, just in, in all walks. And I am going to be uh, looking, there'll be an email going out to the membership over the summertime looking for more volunteers. I'm especially excited over the last year how many newer people, um, not just the old guard, but new members who have stepped up and taken on uh, positions as well, because that's what keeps the club going. So. It is, a, is an honor. Um, in trying to know what to do, because this is my first time doing this, um, so I looked at, I went back into our archives and whatnot, and I was going to look at last year's the, uh, in the video on YouTube. So I found it from last year, and I pulled it up. And it was great, because um, there were all kinds of technical problems. The sound didn't work. You couldn't hear anyone. And I was introduced, as because I was trying to listen to think, because it was my speech as the incoming president, my goals, what I wanted to, uh, what I wanted to do. And I wanted to hear, what, what did I actually promise and what not to? And there was no sound or anything. So I had to do this from memory. So let me bring uh, up our, our slides. Let's see. And let me first start off, as is our tradition of going through our upcoming announcements then. Next Friday, next Friday, live lecture in the clubhouse here, traveling with photo gear. The summer is coming up. We're all going to start to travel. Um, 50 states and 30 countries with our own Beverly Kenworthy is going to be talking there. That's Beverly right there. Um, as well. So that should be a very interesting talk. That is next Friday. Then, June 2nd, Lisa Kucharski is going to be uh, live in our clubhouse talking on Creativity is Contagious, Pass It On. It should be an interesting lecture, but Lisa is also giving a, uh, a workshop 
in the clubhouse that Sunday, this is Friday, and her workshop, it's $79. It's a three-hour one, though, and she's going to be going, she is like a Photoshop master. She is going to be going over intricate Photoshop techniques where if you bring your laptop and things with you, she will have the files. She will go over, it's a hands-on session, how to do some really fascinating things with Photoshop. If you'd like to do this, this is that Sunday after her Friday talk, and this is on uh, go to the weekly snapshot. In the weekly snapshot, you'll sign up through her. She has either a QR code that you could scan or an email link that you could uh, request uh, payment through that. But anyway, check it out through the weekly snapshot. Um, uh, that is for her lecture June 4th, which is the Friday in the clubhouse here. Following June 9th, uh, we have a Zoom lecture, which is, again, we try to find always something different. This is Photographing Places of Worship with Padma Nguba. I've looked on her website, and very interesting, because she travels the world just looking at all different kinds of places of worship and has very unusual takes in just how to photograph it. And her photographs are just out of the ordinary, too. So it gives you a lot of ideas. It should be an interesting Zoom lecture. That's June 9th. June 23rd, um, that is a live lecture, and I want to encourage everyone to attend live rather than uh, video. John Paganini and I are going to be talking about AI photography and what it means for CPS. John and I as teamed, he's taken Dolly and I've taken Midjourney, and we both are becoming proficient on those platforms and are going to discuss not just we'll be going over how to use these and whatnot, but more or less we're scouring the literature, the current day things, talking about bringing up all the ethical questions, what that means to us, our competitions, photography in general. So it'll be an interesting night that we are going to do live here and we'll actually be generating in, uh, images live uh, from audience prompts. Um, and things of that sort. So a very interesting lecture, June 23rd. Uh, SIG meeting, our next SIG meeting coming up June 1st, uh, Thursday, with um, Dave Bush will be drone photography. Uh, Dave, in practicing for that, Dave will have his drone here and fly it around the clubhouse. We lost two members last time when he was trying that out, but he is better at that now, um, too. <laughs> So we are, it should be a very interesting thing. He's going to talk about uh, drones. He's gotten into that. He's writing a book on it, certification, photographic opportunities. Um, so it should be a, a really interesting night, June 1st. Upcoming field trips, back to the wild, May 21st, always a popular one. May 25th, weather dependent, uh, the blossom uh, time, balloon glow, field trip. That's one where the club gets special access down close to them uh, actually launching uh, these or at least firing them up. Um, in return, I think we just, um, is it, they, they get our, they want our pictures. Yeah, the JCs want the pictures then. So we help them with the publicity, giving them the pictures. They give us the access too. A couple pictures, you don't have to give them all. You won't, your memory card won't be confiscated on the way out, so no. <laughs> It's, it's a very informal thing. Um, even though I, this is sold out, I bring up the Wilds because uh, this was brought back after several years and has you know, been very, very popular. We hope to you know, do that again in the future. Um, so that is coming up May 31st. And of course, Mansfield Reformatory, June 3rd. Spots are still open. Um, always a favorite field trip. Fundamentals of Good Photography, the virtual session is open for the summer. Uh, this is the same um, Fundamentals of Good Photography that is offered at other times. This one though, there are a number of people who wanted to just start over the summer, but they don't have time for classes. So this whole thing is virtual, but because you're a student for life, any of the hands-on portion you missed, you could just do that in the fall or whatnot. But it just gives you a way to start, uh, start the courses. So that is on our website. You could sign up for that. 
field trip photo gallery. Again, for all these field trips, it, our gallery is up and active and current. So just pick up the five images, one through five, uh, send them to info at clevelandphoto.org, rename the image with your name and a number, because that actually gets transferred right onto the website as the title of the picture, too. And we'll get those usually right up within 24 hours as well. And our new CPS website um, coming, middle of June. Um, you'll hear a lot more about that, so hang in there a little bit longer. You'll start to notice that our old website, the calendar is actually after July won't be as pop. If you're looking for things going on in August or whatnot, we probably won't have those on the calendar. We're probably going to keep the old one current up through July. And then middle of June, when this one goes live, everything will be populated so it'll, you can look out a year or two or whatnot uh, ahead of time. So a little patience with that. And of course, these and all of our regular community lectures are on our YouTube channel. Um, any Zoom talks that are proprietary are going to be on our members-only site on our new website. You'll be able to view that. We'll have two in the last two and a half years worth during COVID of talks are all up there on the new site that's going to be coming. When you just go to our homepage on the new or old website, look for the YouTube icon, click it. When you get to YouTube, click on the live portion and you'll see all of our videos. So basically that is it. Now, let me put up our... Okay, tonight. Tonight's program. Um, you'll have a welcome. I welcomed you. Consider yourself welcomed. <laughs> I told you where the cake was. That was it. Um, then we'll have the President's Awards, which I'll be giving out. The Community Service Awards with uh, Deb Willis. And then we'll have all of our competition awards um, with Bill Keaton. I told you I started to infer last time that I tried to look back unsuccessfully to last year's video to see you know, what I had promised, what my goals were and things too. And that, fortunately, that video was just blanked out. Um, so basically, I tried to do it from memory, but the more I thought about it, I, I thought of all these lofty goals, but I, essentially, to be honest, there was only one thing in my mind. My goals for 2022, 2023, this last year, was to get through the year without a disaster. <laughs> I mean, I know I told, oh, I want this, and I'd like to do that, but basically, it's the first year that I, mean, I didn't want a disaster. Um, now that we're pretty much finished, achievements for 22, 2023, we didn't have a disaster. <laughs> however, however, ho ho thank, you, thank you, but the fiscal year ends May 31st. <laughs> we are not, so I plead, just, just, yes, 12 days to go, and then I'll be fine. So that is my talk from last year. Um, now, again, this is my, my favorite, uh, I think, favorite time of the year because we honor others. And it's my time now to uh, award. I get to play, um, to actually name two awards. Um, oh, and let me just first tell you my goals for 2023, 2024. No, I know, I know. It's not another disaster. I, did, I got serious for this one. Is, but just general things, too. I want to keep the club on an even keel. Now the pandemic is hopefully in the rearview mirror. Um, my Kopkis got us through the pandemic. We really did, we, we did well. This was our first, we've completed our kind of first year afterwards, membership is held stable, the field trips have come back, everything is you know, kind of, seems to be going fine, and I like to just keep it running like that. I wanna continue the competitions, field trips, speakers, exhibits, community service, and level at levels that bring value to our members. In other words, this is a pick and choose thing. That's why we don't see 600 people here tonight. Some come for the, for the meetings, others the field trips, others are the talks. 
we want to have value on a whole lot of different levels for people to come and choose. And again, a lot of people are involved to bring all these things to us, all volunteers. So again, that is what I want to try to continue. And to continue to look for new members to become more active in the club. That is crucial, um, again. And the way a club grows is for new members to become active in the different committees, to move up through the ranks as well. So these are kind of my goals. And I didn't put it on here, but it's, of course, you know, keeping another disaster away, any disaster. So on now, the President's Award. This is the first award that I give. And what is the President's Award? I looked carefully back through the archives for a definition, and it varies throughout the years, and there have been a number of criteria attached to this. So after going back, I distilled a lot of it down into really what I think, to me personally, the President's Award is. And the President's Award is really to recognize a member who has provided significant service to the Cleveland Photographic Society, largely in behind-the-scenes roles that too often go unnoticed by most of the membership, or a member who has gone above and beyond. And for this year, I'd like to give that award to Kelly Jamison. Now wait, uh, yes. And let me tell you a bit about, let, let me turn the lights off again. Let me tell you a little about, about Kelly. Kelly joined in 2019. Kelly is the director. Uh, she's been the director for Intro to Photoshop Photo Editing, with all the things that a directorship involves keeping that program running. And that is where our students kind of are introduced into Photoshop. She also, besides being a director, is an instructor in Introduction to Photoshop Photo Editing. The new CPS website. We had a company do this, and the company did a good job. But to have a website that we really want what we need would be something that we cannot afford. And they did a good job as kind of a generic website. Kelly, with her IT background, kind of looked at this and was not asked, just on her own, took this website kind of redid most of it to really bring it up to, I was going to say the next level, but actually several levels above. And one of the reasons that it is so great is because of Kelly and her, her work there. She is committee chair of the CPS website committee. And so now let's have a hand for, for Kelly. This is her plaque. Come on up, Kelly. Kelly, I'd like to give you this, the plaque and a, no, a thank you very much. It's my hand for. Very, very well deserved. The second award that I get to give out is the Bert Klein, Bert Klein Volunteer Award. And the best way to describe that award is, is what's written on the uh, wall plaque that we have all our, our honorees. For almost 50 years, Bert Klein was the epitome of the CPS volunteer. As president, board member, school director, and ubiquitous helper, Bert was a constant presence and continues and continuous help to CPS. The Burt Klein Award was created to keep his memory alive and to recognize those who follow in his footsteps entirely tireless volunteerism to the club. And this year's award is to Kim Vasilevsky. And let's uh, and I'm gonna tell you about Kim. Kim joined in 2017. And Kim arranges all of the speak, everything that goes on here Friday nights is through Kim. She arranges the Zoom speakers, the live speakers, the speakers before the print competition, the special, special Friday night events such as the tabletop workshops, filling all the Friday night spots. All this running around that seems to happen seamlessly is behind the scenes and that is Kim. It requires a lot of behind the scenes work 
negotiating fees. You do not want to negotiate with this, with Kim. I mean, basically, you, you will wind up with that. But basically, she has gotten us some good deals. Again, because we do have a fixed budget. Uh, keeping the website calendar current, juggling schedules, scouting new prospects as well. It is a lot to keep those Fridays filled. At this, uh, with all of this, she also is a regular volunteer for the CPS Community Service, and she is our second vice president. So certainly deserving of this award. So at this time, I'd like to honor Kim Vasilevsky with our... It's real. It's real. It's real. Wow. There you go, Kim. And a token of our Thank health. Thank you. <laughs> very, very well deserved. Now. It's okay. I'll tell you what I'm doing next. We got this under control. At this time, yes, I want to introduce Deborah Willis. Deb is in charge of our community uh, service, also the dark room door, wears two hats and does a lot. Deb, let me give you the mic here. And all Should yours. Be good. So before I start what I'm going to say, I'm going to say from the dark room door editor's perspective, we take a lot of pictures all over, but we don't take enough pictures of ourselves. And so I'm hoping that someone is here tonight that can take a picture of Kelly and Kim, because we like to put that in the dark room door. We want to recognize you not only in this meeting, but as well as in our newsletter. So I'm going to start by asking, how many of you even know that we have a community service program? Wonderful, wonderful. I see most of the hands going up, so I'm going to ask, since I saw your hand first, what is the community service program? Just working out in the community and volunteering, taking pictures. Okay, um, I'm going to ask somebody if they can add to that a little bit more specifically. They have to be a nonprofit. Uh, that's it. Right. So we do the photographs for nonprofit organizations to help them document their history. Let's see. Oh, so we've got it up here. It went a little different. So during the pandemic, things were a little different for us because we didn't get as many requests as we normally do. Um, this year we did receive 44 requests, and that's 21 more than we had last year. And as we begin to ease out of the pandemic, you see that a lot of requests are coming through now. Our busiest times are the summer, and we have many events that we have not been able to cover this summer already. Uh, we had seven new organizations this year that used our services, and that's three more than we had last year. And so it's the Joshua and Caleb Leadership Center, Case Western Reserve University, and yes, they are a nonprofit. Leading Ladies Incorporated, the Little League Challengers, and that is a Little League team for children with special needs. Metropolitan Cleveland Alliance of Black School Educators, we call it Metro Cabsey, Santa's Hideaway Hollow, St. Sebastian's Parish Sanctuary Society, and again, they are a nonprofit, a 501c3. Our volunteer pool averages about 100 members, and that's of six from last, this time last year. And we had 18 members who volunteered their time and talent to photograph the um, community service events this year. So I would have had them come up, but um, if they're here, so we have Dave, Rosemary, Dennis, Jackie, Tish, Maria, Mariah, I saw her, Don, Karen, Carol, Dan, Bonnie, Tom, Colleen, Bruce, Ann, Sobea, Kim, and myself. And in parentheses, you see how many events they covered. So if you can come up, we have a little something for you. Ladies and gentlemen. So I want you to take, we have the CPS medallions. We want you to take that. And then we also had a special cookie made. There are some on the back as well for everybody else, but you get your choice of blue or yellow. And it has the CPS logo on it. So if each of you can take one of those. And again, I'm hoping somebody can take their photograph. Okay. You at least turn around so everybody can see you now. So get in close, as we say. And I see somebody with a camera, so did you? Mike, thank you so much. Get tighter, everyone. Yes, like you know each other. Uh, 
I'm on the end, yes. I'll get right on the end. <laughs> Give him a charger. <laughs> So if you got everybody now, his battery's running down, so we don't want to press it too much. Have you got everyone? Thank you so much. So I want you again to take a medallion and take a cookie. And for those of you in the audience, there are cookies back by the cake. They're just getting a little bit different color than you're getting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Because things slowed down with our community service program, we had not been giving the Jim Frazier Award in the last, I think, three years now. So Jim Frazier, he actually was the first coordinator of the community service program. And when he was no longer able to do that and stepped down, Ron Werman became the next coordinator. So I'm the third um, coordinator for that. The Jim Frazier Award is presented to the CPS member who has demonstrated outstanding commitment and contributions to our community service program. So I'm going to see how this will come up. This year's Jim Frazier Award is presented to Bruce Orr. Yay! All right. Um, this year, Mr. Orr photographed 13 events and recorded 120 volunteer hours. He's been a member of the community service program since 2019. And we applaud him for his dedication to the community service program. So you want to come up, Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> and in addition to that wonder, I love that trophy. I said that's really cute. Yes. So we have to make sure we get that. And we have a small token of appreciation for you as well. Well, thank you. So we thank you so much. Thank and I'll you. be seeing you soon, right? That's right. That's right. Yes. <laughs> okay. And because we hadn't done it in a while, we also want to recognize Tom Malachek. I don't know if he's here tonight or not. I not I'm not seeing him. He um indicated that he had a family situation, so we have to keep him in our prayers. Um, Mr. Malachek photographed eight events this year and recorded seven, 75 volunteer hours. He's been a community service program coordinator, um, program volunteer since 2020. On uh, one occasion this year, which makes him, um, he kind of exemplifies what we do in community service, we didn't have anybody to photograph an event, and he was scheduled to be on vacation. So he actually rescheduled his vacation to come in and cover that event for us. And for that reason and many others, I thought that he really was deserving of this award. And since he's not here this evening, we will make sure that we get that in the mail to him. Okay. Um, we also, yes, we should give him applause. And Janae is not here, but Janae worked with um, Jim Frazier, and this, uh, she actually worked with Ron Worman, so she's been working with the community service since, since 2012. And with that, she created the database to help compile our volunteer hours, and she did follow up with all the volunteers who did not submit their hours to make sure that we had the information and we recorded it correctly. Um, in addition to her work behind the scenes, she has presented information on the community service program during our Friday night meetings, and she was an active community service volunteer, and she still is. She's retiring from her position, but we want to recognize her as well. And so we have a gift for her, a token of appreciation for her. And I will get that in the mail to her. Um, and also because she's having some family situations, she's not able to be here this evening. But again, we have the well wishes for her. So let's give her some applause. As community service um, coordinator, one of the things I thought was that it's really important not only to recognize our community service volunteers, the one going out taking photographs, but we have um, CPS. I always say volunteerism is the heartbeat of CPS. We have a lot of people who work behind the scenes. You see a lot of people with the school. You see a lot of people. Um, when you come in, each time you come in, we have people doing refreshments. People are doing the um, exhibits. People who are doing the competitions and so all those people are volunteers for us and we want to find a way to recognize them and the President's Volunteer Award is a national award that we started that we got involved in I should say so we got involved in it on January 1st 2019 
Um, it has three levels. It has a bronze level for members who volunteer 100 to, 100, uh, to 249 hours. It has a silver level for 250 to 499 hours and a gold level for 500 hours or more. Also, they have a lifetime achievement award for anybody who's done 4,000 hours um, over their lifetime. And so in 2022, we awarded our first lifetime achievement award to Rob Eric. So we have six members who have uh, gotten the award today. And what I'm going to say is that if you are working with another organization and they're involved in the, um, this um, Presence of Volunteer Award, we can combine the hours together. You just have to decide which organization you want to give you the award. And so the people we're recognizing this evening are, under the bronze level, we have Lori Culp, Bruce Orr, Sarah Taylor, Vicki Wirt, and myself. And I'm one of the people that's going to push mine over to another organization because I volunteered like several hundreds of hours there. So we're just gonna combine it together. So are, is Sarah here? Sarah's not here. Lori, come on up. And if you stand here for a minute, maybe a couple other people will be joining you. Yes. Bruce, your um, pen is in there too. So it's just, your they get a letter, they get a certificate signed by the president. I think it's auto signed. And then they have a pen. Vicki? Okay, and those are on the bronze level, and then we have our silver level. And our silver is, is Mike. <laughs> so we need somebody to take the picture. So again, what they get is a letter, um, they get a certificate signed by the president, and then they also get a pen. So if you turn it around so your name is showing, and I think we'll get the picture of you. And I'll stand back here. <laughs> Uh, just everybody get real close like you love each other. <laughs> All right, thank you. We did not have any gold award and we don't have anybody yet with lifetime achievement. So that concludes my presentation. I thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Just change in plans, just short change in plans um, as well. Um, no, it's not a disaster. One, first of all, I want to thank, I forgot my, Barb Pennington. Barb Pennington puts together all the refreshments, arranges all this, arranged all the food tonight. So a hand for Barb and her crew. The other thing is due to Mike Kopkis' battery running low, can I have Kelly and Kim up here? You want to get their shots before your battery runs out? Yeah. And they could... Come on up. Kelly and Kim, come up with your plaques. You're, oh, good. You've got a camera, too. We've got three. Something's got to come out. Yeah, one of these will. Yep. Just, yeah. Okay. Let me just get that. <laughs> Thank you. This would be, it's going to be highly embarrassing if in a photo photographic club with all these targets, if we don't get one shot that comes out, <laughs> that will be embarrassing. So, okay, at this point, what a lot of you have come for, let me, uh, without any further ado, bring up Bill Keaton, uh, competition chair, and... <clears throat> Uh, good evening, all. Thanks for coming. Uh, into the award competition, uh, the culmination of 12 regular competitions, four B competitions, four journalism nights. Uh, all the judging was completed just two or three weeks ago. Uh, and so I'm not going to keep it your suspense any longer. Starting off will be Marge Brady with presenting the B competition awards. Oh, don't clap yet. This might be like the Academy Awards where they gave out the wrong director or wrong picture of the year. <laughs> All right. I'm a little nervous being the one to start this off here. We love it, Marge. 
<laughs> I'm having a hot flash. All right, so we're going to start off with the uh, accumulated point winners. And in third place, we have Amy Rudowitz. Is Amy here? <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, and in second place, we have Diane uh, Glatzer. Not here? Okay. And in first place, with accumulated points, is Eric Botsky. Congratulations. Okay, for the end of the year image awards, in third place is Renee Lucas with her image Zoe. Congratulations. Yeah. And in second place, Jerry Pano with the image staircase. Oh. I guess he's not here. Um, and in first place is Eric Botsky with the image The Wonders of Falling Snow. Um, and the image of the year for the B competition goes to Diane Glatzer with her image Bonsai Pipeline North Shore Oahu. All right, moving on. Black and white. So Mr. Saborik, who's the chair of the Black and White Committee, will be presenting those awards. I'll give you a hand. Mr. Saboric, huh? <laughs> Dave, thank you. Okay, accumulated points for black and white competition for the year. Melanie Plummer. Second place, cumulative points, black and white competition for the year, Mike, Mike Kupkus. And first place, accumulated points, Jackie Sayuski.
Oh, we want to re-photograph. Oh, oh this isn't me. <laughs> I'm Jackie. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is one. That's me here. I guess. I don't know. Jackie gets a medal. Okay. Uh, okay. Stand okay. Here, we get a new picture. Okay, end of the year, third place, image, perfect shave, Jackie Sajewski. I got a ribbon for you. Second place, old fashioned fishing, Debbie Liski. So is she in Africa now? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and end of the year, first place, the historic B&O Roundhouse, Susan Bestel. Who's in that here? No, she's not here tonight. Mm. Okay, and picture of the year. <laughs> the wind up. Meyer Award goes to Bob Kowalewski, Approaching Storm. Right. No Jackie, you were the only one here. Presenting the Creative Award tonight, Dan Sandy, the Creative Chair. <laughs> Let's wait a second. See, uh, so we got a little conflict with uh, names here. <laughs> yeah, no, don't call me Mr. Sandy. That's definitely not me. That's my dad. <laughs> don't call me Schnookums either. <laughs> Please. Only Bill can call me that. <laughs> Okay, hi everybody. Hope you're having a great evening. I'd like to congratulate everybody that's competed and awards uh, that have been achieved. And there are a lot of them in here and I probably should not have flipped them all over. Anyway, we're gonna start on the uh, accumulated points. And let me see if I can figure out where they are. <laughs> okay, there we go. Starting with third place, we have Vicki Wirt and Gary Mar uh, Merrick. Come on down. Well, we got Vicky. It doesn't seem like we have Mr. Gary. Thank you. Congrats. You honestly, you don't have to stay here if you don't want to. I don't need the picture. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could get the picture after. That's up to you. Anyway, that aside. So, second place, Susan Bestel, who is also not here. Congrats to Susan and Vicky so far. Unfortunately, Susan's too good to be here. 
Anyway, that aside, we'll move on. And first place, Jackie Sieski. I think we're going to see a lot of her tonight. <laughs> Congrats, Jackie. No, we, we got a couple of awards going. Or are we just doing a, a q and of Well, we still got the... Wait. Does she get the... Uh, this? That's... Uh-oh. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Shh, stop looking at these awards, Jackie. <laughs> what are you doing? I right, we're going to get a photo taken here. <laughs> You you may sit down. Thank you very much, and your with your patience and all. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go into the creative photo awards. Sometime, third place, Sea Lion by the Sea by Belinda Prince. Let's see if I can find them. Belinda is not here. Thank you and congrats. Moving on. Second place, 1930s Buick Hood Ornament, Gary Merrick. Man, good job, Gary. Also not here, again. I'm going to be mailing a couple of these awards out. That's really cool. All right, first place, Lunar Garden by Bill Keaton. Also, Schnookums. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> He's not mentally here, but he is physically here. Thank you, sir. Congrats, Bill. <laughs> You can oh, stay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're the, he's also the button pusher, so you got to give us a sec here. Hey, Jackie Sieski for, what is this, photo of the year. Big shocker there for the photo known as veteran. Mm. What are these? Oh, that's this. Yeah, so Congrats again. Oh, and you get a plaque. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We got one more to go. Yeah, yeah. Patience. It's a virtue that you guys don't have. <laughs> you can work on it. It's up to you. <laughs> Live the dream. And for the special award, the Charlie Casso Award, we have Susan Bestel, I believe, but he cleared it off too soon for a photo that I can't read. My heart. No, nope, she stole my heart. That's it. <laughs> Susan, congrats. Oh. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. That's my bit. Thank you for tolerating me. I could have. I also don't want to be in a photo. Nature. And I wear a double hat. I'm also the chairman of the nature competition. So let me get my stuff together here. As soon as Dan clears the table off, on it. I got it. The Whoops. No spoiler alert. <laughs> yep. That was unintentional. All right. <laughs> that probably counts as a Richard's disaster. Sorry, Richard. There goes your perfect record. What can I say? Oh, well, you know. So, accumulated points. Third place. I'll just put this on my stack. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Second place, Bob Koaleski. Bob is not here. I'm not sure what part of the world he's in. And first place in nature for accumulated points. Vicky Wirt. <laughs> Congratulations, Vicky. Up. Moving on for the photo awards. Third place, Canyon Colors, Dennis Wirt. Congrats, Dennis. 
Second place, Mommy and Me, Debbie Liske. I don't think she's here tonight. First place in nature, that was her picture, by the way. Blue, uh, Blue Dasher on Water Lily Bud by Mr. Saboric. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, sir. We're not done yet. <laughs> Two more. And the photo of the year in the nature category, Vietnamese mossy frog. The, uh, it's the Wirt and Wirt <laughs> show. Congratulations. And there is a plaque for you as well. There you go. There we go, sorry. Yes. And the last award, the Ruth Morrison Award, <laughs> goes to me <laughs> for surfing the wave. So, now, Thank you, on behalf of the nature. Next up, we have people. Eric. Eric Wellington is the chair of the people competition. I'll be more timely in advancing now that I don't have to do both of it. Okay, uh, accumulated points, third place, Marge Brady. There's your ribbon, there you go. And second place, Bill Keaton. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> get in there, get your picture taken. <laughs> third place, Jackie Sierowski. Picture time. And now the photos. And now the end of year photos. Third place, Nathan by Mike Kopkus. Second place, Innocence by Marge Brady. There you go. First place, Pickle Man by Dave Sabork. Photo of the year, wearing my per wearing my pearls by Debbie Liskey. And end of year special goes to uh, Charlie's the Charlie Servanek Award, uh, Kara Jackie Sowski. Make sure your name's on that one. <laughs> these are leftover? Yeah, these are um, uh -huh. 
Debbie? Just stack it right there. Okay. Picture time. Moving right along, the pictorial print category. Randy Biter is the chair of that, and he could not be with us tonight. So taking his place to present the awards, we have Chris, who in addition is going to be taking my place after this meeting is over. <laughs> partially, partially. No pressure there. Can I have the clicker? I got it for you. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yep. Okay, so accumulated points, third place, Marge Brady. Yeah. Accumulated points, second place, Jackie Sajewski. And first place for accumulated points, Vicki Wirt. for our prints, end of year, third place, Elegance by Jackie Sajewski. <laughs> end of year, second place image is Severance Hall Auditorium by Vicki Wirt. First place, Renfair Dude. <laughs> Did I say that right? You said that right. Bill Keaton. You said it. Nope, no plan. Right, there's two more. Hardly. <laughs> picture of the year. Wow. Yeah, picture of the year. Room with the view by Dennis Wirt. John Mon yeah, John Monajong, Headlands Lighthouse by Dave Korsak. He's not here, right? And our next category, pictorial projection. Again, that is usually Randy's category. Tonight, the co-chair of the competition committee that's taking over, Dave Tripp, is going to present those. He actually has three different plaques to present, so he's got a heavy burden. <laughs> what did I get myself into, Bill? Okay, uh, we're gonna start with accumulated points, third place. Uh, Terry Martin. Is, is Terry here? Second place, Jackie Sajewski. Congratulations, Jackie. And first place, that would be Bob Kowaleski. Picture Jackie. 
picture, no, Jack? No, no. Moving on with photos. Okay. Third place, Donna Schneider, Lake Louise Sunrise. Is Donna here? No Donna. Second place, Valdis Krebs, Backyard Lily. Congratulations. Got to figure out how to take the selfie now. First place. I know this camera can do it. First place, Dennis Wirtz. Dolomite Day. Congratulations, Dennis. Photo of the year. Terry Martin, Teton Thunderstorm. And Terry isn't here. We will make sure they get that to him. And then these special awards. Mayor Award, the Henry Mayor Award. Red-Eyed Tree Frog, Donald, uh, Debbie Leesky. And finally, the Burt Klein Ward, Say Cheese, Jackie Sayeski. All right, last but certainly not least, <laughs> Photojournalism Awards for the end of the year. And presenting those will be our chair, Mariah. I've got to tell you all that you can say chair, but I wouldn't have been anywhere without Bill Keaton. So he, that's very nice that he comes along with me like that. I also want to challenge everybody here and at home to give all these winners of all these things an additional challenge. I want to see them in photojournalism. I want to see them uh, challenged by bringing things down for photojournalism. Get out there on the street and let's see what you can do. Photojournalism only has three, four nights a year. And we've debated and debated, do you want points, don't you want points? No, it's better without points, because then you don't get guided toward what you're going to take by judges that maybe don't know a lot about photojournalism. So we debate back and forth. It's not settled. But for this year, it was four nights um, of bringing your photojournalistic pictures down and that's always up for grabs. We thought we'd have a workshop this next year about photojournalism and what it is and how you take it, so that's ahead. But anyway, we do have some winners, and I'm going to announce those. In third place for 2023, it's Susan Mahorsik, One Night in Windward, Smoke Shop. He's not here, I don't think. Um, second place, it's uh, Chicago Chinatown shopper, Jackie Sajewski. Sajewski, sorry. 
You're getting easier and easier coming up, and your smile is getting easier and easier. It's great. <laughs> okay, and here, Jackie. Thank you. Uh, your end first place award goes to Bill Keaton, Zulu Boy. Thank you, Thank you Bill, for everything. And the photo of the year, the year end award, goes to Marge Brady, Making Friends. So we'll see you all in all the competitions that are coming up, everyone in this room and at home. Thank you. All right. Well, that's all the categories. There's one award left to be presented. Uh, I'll take a little credit for this. I started this two or three years ago. I thought it was something that we should recognize, and that's the photographer of the year, the person who accumulates the most points in at least three categories of our competitions. So, in third place, there's no ribbons for third, it's just a mention and recognition, a nod to Vicki Wirt. She got, had 81 points this year. In second place, Marge Brady, 82 points. There you go. And our photographer of the year. No, not even close. Uh, I mentioned last year, you get to enter, if you enter every competition, there's 12 of them, and you enter three photographs, that's 36. If you scored first place, that would be a 180 points total. Last year, the person who won this had 118 out of that possible 180 to give you some idea of not only the level of work, but the participation. And this year, the same person scored 122 points. So our photographer of the year, Jackie Sieski. rest of us a break. <laughs> that concludes the photographs into the year competition part of the night. Uh, and I just wanted to say thank you for letting me be the competition chair for the last six or seven years or however long it's been. And I think I'm leaving it in good hands with Dave, Dan, and Chris. Uh, but thanks for letting me serve you for the past few years. And I'll hand this over to Richard. Thank you very much, Bill. It is well appreciated. I thank you all for coming and understand this. And that's the one nice thing the, about the way we do it. We've had the awards tonight, but now it's a clean slate. We start off the next day, I think July is our first competition again. And so it's up for grabs, you know, for anyone uh, to have that first place one. So I encourage all of you to, uh, to enter. Let's populate the photojournalism as well. We still have refreshments back there and cakes. So uh, thank you all for coming. That's it. Wait, 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 one more, one more thing. Uh, Deb Willis wants one more. Hold on. 
you've taken all these wonderful photos, but the second half of it is to make sure that you send them to me for the darkroom door. <laughs> so it's drdeditor at clevelandphoto.org. Thank you. Wait, wait uh, your attention. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. Please, all of us. We are not, the meeting is not over. We've had our first disaster, which is not really a disaster. We forgot one item, uh, what, one item to do. Apparently, it was brought up. Come on up a second. Bring that up here, too. There was one item we were supposed to vote on that we sent out a 30-day notice that we were going to vote on the meeting of the change in the wording of couples um, as well. So bring up, your, bring up your phone. Let me read that there. We'll take a quick vote now. This was, you just showed it to me. So we sent out a 30, in order to amend the bylaws, we had to send out a 30-day notice to the membership, which we did, and just vote all of you who are members uh, here to vote that the wording of the bylaws as it pertains to couples membership be changed to, um, quote, persons representing themselves as a couple, and the change in wording here as, and living in the same household may join at a couple's rate set by the board. And that was just the change. We just changed the language to under the same roof. So we wanted to change that in the bylaws. It needs a vote of the membership. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you all very much. The meeting is over. There you go. It,